friends welcome to my channel uh, and welcome to my new editions of unboxing I got the package here from Banggood and as you see the uh, lots of yellow plastic over it some foam in under it uh, it seems to have been into quite a hard shipping, so I hope that doesn't mean that it's something wrong with this hex. I think it is a Chason CX33S with a FPV system. So, let's open this package up. As I said before, <coughs> the package, well, have seen its best days, but maybe it haven't done anything to the quad. So, um, as you see, let's see if it's the right quadcopter doesn't look like it's the right quadcopter I don't know actually I think I have to open it up and see for myself okay my worry seems to be quite okay This is actually FPV version, so here comes uh, uh, this plastic. It's really, really tough to get things out. Here we have the FPV system. It's kind of really plastic. Uh, feels plastic. I don't think it will break, but this LCD screen do seem a little fragile, but maybe it's not that bad. Let's see here. Oh, well. Uh, let's see here. Here's the quad itself. Uh, sorry, I mean a hexacopter or whatever. It's look like a tricopter, but it's actually hexacopter. Uh, we have a two mega megapixel FPV camera here with a 5.8 gigahertz FPV system. Uh, it feel light and it's kind of futuristic looking I shall see if I can start it up with just a little for you to see later on in this video well uh, I think there is a battery in there somewhere in the belly here it looks like it uh, let's see here I think I have two the back side here. On the back side we have the extra stuff. Okay, I think this little thing here is going to be up here later on. It's a spare part if some one of these locking mechanisms would uh, vanish somehow. There is just two spare props uh, and 
and it looks like they're very plasticky. I don't feel that it's that very good quality, but usually the props isn't the ones that actually breaks on the cord anyway, so yeah. A charger, it's uh, I haven't been into the business that long, so I actually don't know what the connect what this type of connection is called, but I, I have a better charger so I, that I can use to my MEX X600 hexacopter. Uh, I, I kind of like this. <laughs> Two screwdrivers, I guess. It's two type of screws in the quad. And as I said, a little... Yeah, I don't know what to call it. But I think it's something to change on the quad if something goes missing. I don't know what. And here is six. Oh. And well, there are lots of screws in there. There, but I guess uh, it's a screw for every one of these. Uh, you see, there are two screw holes in there. So. Well, I guess I have to fire this baby up. It shall be four AAA batteries and a LCD screen. Like it should be four double A batteries and the controller. Um, those batteries do not follow the package. Well, let's see if this one works. Let's see if that's the on 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 off There, as you can see, there is a channel button. And it's a blue screen. And I can screw this with the screw here. Loosen it up and then put the screen how I like it. Here's the cup. And it seems to be working as well. Uh, a little about the uh, this uh, remote control. I think this button here is the auto. Um, yeah, it should uh, go up to a place in the air by itself and auto landing. And here is the directional control. Uh, here we do have a sprinted So this copter actually has Altitude hold mode So uh, if I push up it would just raise a little and then stay hovering and I do like that if I want to go down If I want to uh, take picture of movies, I press this one and this is about frequencies. I can so I can get the picture into the screen here. And these are the rates, like usual. Yeah, seems to be working so far. The copy itself has. Let's see if we can an on-off switch. That's good. I don't know if there is possible to put the SD card, but it seems to be possible to put an SD card in there. If I want to open this baby up, I have to move this sprint here. Uh, and that wasn't that the most easiest thing to move. Here is the battery, as you can see, it actually 
like you could use this for uh, another after like um, hoop some something like that I think it's uh, 7.4 and the 450 milliamps battery uh, and here we have uh, the one that we can charge yeah you can actually I think if you modify this here you can perhaps take the little thing off here and lock it here and you can actually have this outside all the time this one so you don't have to remove the battery every time you charge it okay let's see if this one works I hope I get everything in place but as you see I leave this leave this cable out uh, I have to fix that so that the cable won't be Damage, something like that. Here is the on off button. I haven't charged it yet, so I'm the only t going to make a little try. And then I push this on. Oh, so it's connected, and then I do like this. Let's see if uh, the camera works. And it seems to be working right out of the box. As you can see here. Here I am. And here is the... Okay, let's see if... Uh, maybe I should have started in here, but... I think I would, should press this one if I want to start it. And as you can see here, there is not much, I don't know, where uh, I think that's for the LCD screen. But this here seems to be telling a little about the quadcopter's battery. And I can do like this if I want to hit that button. Then I take a picture, I guess. And if I do like that, hold it for a second, I think. No, I, I do have to have a memory card, of course. A little about it, it's too blue in the front. They are really, really shiny. And a red light in the back, LCD. So, this is the Chason CX. 33s. Of course, it comes to use the manual. I kind of forgot to show you this one, and it tells you everything in quite good English, I think. Yeah, and how you should charge it, and how the FPV system works and everything like that yeah now you've seen everything so till next time I think I'm going to do this as I call it a little flight review of this one so uh, till next time see ya <laughs>